are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, 2022 is almost in the books. This year has just flown by and we're headed for 2023. And, you know, a lot of companies out there are starting to recap the year. You're probably going to see a more polls out there about the top 10 of uh, 2022. Well, there is a different type of um, ranking for 2022 when it comes to wokeness. And guess who made the list, folks? Oh, yes. The Martis NBA of China. Now, guys, the new tolerance campaign. I guess ever since 2021, they actually have been making their list of the worst of the woke. Now, shockingly, guys, the NBA did not make the 2021 list. They didn't. I actually tried to look and see if there was a 2020 list. I couldn't find it. But let's get into it, guys. The new tolerance campaign. Now, they actually are out there trying to combat the wokeness. And expose it. Now, check this out. They talk about uh, phony, phony tolerance by the establishment. And they say here the, toler the tolerance establishment has lost its moral compass by failing to uphold basic standards of decency for all people. And is inspiring others to do the same. The establishment criticizes the moral conduct of certain people while ignoring vile bigotry by others. Even worse, the establishment wields tolerance selectively as a weapon for, for political attacks, sometimes even aligning with extremists to advance their goals. And this is their example here of uh, phony tolerance. And they even mention the NBA right here. The NBA boldly advocates for Black Lives Matter while betting China's hu human rights abuses, ignoring repression of Muslims and silencing criticism of China's subjugation of Hong Kong. Yeah. So therefore, now you actually have the NBA making a list. It says here, New Tolerance Campaign announces 2022 Worst of the Woke Awards. And no, the NBA is not the number one here. They're not. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's... um. I believe it's uh, Disney probably right here. Actually, it doesn't really have a ranking, but um, they just list different companies like uh, Disney here, BlackRock. And we know that Disney is super duper woke. If you check out uh, Black and White ne Network and the Matrix and Roadshow, uh, Twitter, pre-Elon Musk, Apple's on here, American Express, Georgetown University, the ACLU, the Olympics, school boards. And down here, the Marxist NBA of China. And they give a reason for each one of these. And you guys probably know why. But it says that um, the reason the NBA is on here, the world of uh, pro sports continued its woke drift in 2022. But none more so than the National Basketball Association NBA. This year, for the first time in its history, it canceled games on Election Day. In January, when pressed on the NBA's business dealings with China's authoritarian government, Golden State Warriors co-owner, I can't even pronounce that guy's name, Chameth, and we did a video on him, says, quote, nobody cares about the Uyghur genocide in China. In February, NBA player and outspoken critic of oppression in China, Ennis Freedom was cut from the NBA roster. A move fan said was made because Freedom exposed how U.S. corporations essentially become foreign agents of communist China. NBA viewership continues to plummet from 1998 to 2022. The NBA lost 66% of its viewers. Now, guys, when they actually said that they were not going to be playing uh, games on Election Day because they wanted people to go out there and vote, I thought that was idiotic. Now, if you guys... um. Remember, also, I believe in um, was it was it 2020 They actually started making um, polling locations at NBA arenas. They dive all into politics and they never actually look back. 
But yet and still, the NBA remains silent on China. And the media is not going to ask them any hard questions whatsoever when it comes to their support of China. The NBA is making billions because of China. China actually runs the NBA. China actually runs Nike. And therefore, the players remain silent because it will hurt their pocketbooks. There is no morals, folks. The NBA is perfectly okay with the destruction of this country right here. But they want China to remain very, very powerful. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, the NBA makes the worst of the woke for 2022. We'll see how much further they're actually going to go in 2023. I don't believe they're actually going to bat down. And 2024 is a presidential election year. So we'll have to see where they actually stand with this. I mean, I believe that the NBA should be completely out of politics, but, you know, they're essentially a strong arm of the Democrat Party. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.